Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here, I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing Disney as a major announcement has been done for Marvel and Phase 6. Disney has recently announced a major cutback of movies. Will Marvel cancel Phase 6 films is what people are worrying about. We're going to go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video we are going to be taking a read from the direct article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, after Disney CEO Bob Iger recently announced a major major cutback of movies and overall projects just going forward inside and out of the MCU. Some are wondering if it could mean the studio will cancel some already announced Phase 6 MCU films. Much has been made about Disney's recent cost-cutting efforts as the studio looks to reconcile some financial missteps over the past couple of years. This has caused the House of Mouse to reevaluate its content strategy across the board, removing titles from Disney Plus after Rampart overspending on streaming, trimming down its theatrical lineup, and tightening budgets on its TV and film ventures. The studio, as well as the rest of Hollywood at that, continues the reel, calling in questions that of what the future could look like for their future content lineup. Recent comments from the Disney CEO, Bob Iger, have made fans worried about the future of the MCU, specifically, and what it could mean for Phase 6 of the super-powered franchise. While recently speaking on the Q3 FY23 earning call, Disney CEO Bob Iger announced a major cutback of the studio's theatrical releases specifically, saying that that we're focused on improving the quality of our films and on bettering economics, Iger had told the shareholders. He added that the Hollywood giant would face not just a reduction of the number of titles released, but also the cost per title. Saying that, in quote, we're focused on improving the quality of our films and on a better economics, not just reducing the number of titles we release, but also the cost per title, and we're maximizing the full impact of our titles by embracing the multiple distribution windows at our disposal, enabling consumers to access their content in multiple ways, ending that quote right there. I can't honestly, in my own thoughts and opinions, necessarily fight this because this is something that a lot of Marvel fans have been hoping for and wanting with especially Marvel Phase 4 having kind of just gone under a little bit. A lot of people have been saying that Disney and Marvel overall should really be focusing on their quality over quantity type of aspects and that's exactly what the CEO of Disney is saying that they want to do, not just for the MCU but also for their other movies. While not explicitly said to affect the MCU's upcoming slate, but specifically with Phase 6 is what we're looking at here because phase five is just too far along with a lot of their projects for them to really take those off of the board some have speculated that this move from the disney ceo could mean several projects on marvel studios phase six slate are could potentially get canceled unfortunately much of the phase six schedule has not yet been officially announced but given Iger's new quality over quantity motive for the studio which is great don't get me wrong it would be all of that surprising if some titles leading to into avengers secret wars were victim to the cutbacks either sacrifices will need to be made in the form of some Marvel Phase 6 projects hitting the cutting room floor or Disney and Marvel Studios will have to greatly stretch out the MCU calendar past where it is currently already set with Secret Wars releasing on May 7th of 2027 just to fit anything and everything into under these tighter theatrical restrictions that they possibly could. And for those of you that may be thinking that Disney would never meddle outright cut a Marvel Studios project, well think again. Recent actions from the studio have shown it is not afraid to make cuts within its prized Marvel Universe specifically, the one of the largest franchises out that in the world. Marvel Studios' animation was recently reportedly being dubbed a quote-unquote failed experiment as Disney made sweeping cuts across the division, deciding the fate of both announced projects like Spider-Man Freshman Year and those that have never actually officially been unveiled to the public. This year all being said, what Phase 6 movies and projects for the MCU could actually be cancelled? Cancelled a strong word. I think if for anything that they would actually push these projects back if for anything, because Kevin Feige has his vision, don't mess with the vision. As of right now, much of Phase 6 of the MCU remains a mystery. Nothing has really been announced or unveiled all that much, so it is a little hard to know what exactly could be getting the boot and what is safe on the Marvel Studios slate. As the time of writing, the only three films known to appear in Phase 6 are Fantastic Four, Avengers The Kang Dynasty, and Avengers Secret Wars. Anything and everything in between, we just don't know. There's a lot of holes to fill in there. Now, nothing in Hollywood is ever truly safe from a cancelization, but these three movies feel like about as sure bets to remain on the slate as one can get, and that they wouldn't be moved around, pushed back, or cancelled, or anything of that. Fantastic Four is, at least reportedly, in the midst of casting, as Marvel sees the introduction of its first superhero family into the MCU as a major milestone for the franchise overall, and the pair of Avenger films are the sort of major events that Disney seems to be hoping to focus more on going forward, and something that's very essential for them. Looking at some of the reported Phase 6 Marvel films, simply from rumors, however, one can see where some 
cuts might be made, actually. On the less likely side of getting cut, simply because of their prior film successes and or legacy at Disney, are the likes of Shang-Chi 2, Spider-Man 4, and Black Panther 3. Those are just also kind of givens, not that they would necessarily be a part of the Phase 6 slate, but probably somewhere around there if for anything. Names that could get into the bump through included Internals 2 or Thor 5, though, however, and that wouldn't actually go forward with any type of production, seeing of how those latest last films like Thor 4 or Eternals 1 actually did, well, succeed if that's what you want to call it. Both of these movies had prior films that disappointed during Phase 4 of the franchise. Specifically, in Thor's case, it has long also been rumored that Chris Hemsworth may be done with his time as the God of Thunder with the MCU, so while fans would be disappointed for his fifth film to never actually happen, there is a scenario in which Disney cuts and runs on Thor 5, leaving a send-off of the longtime MCU hero in one of the two upcoming Avengers movies. This year, all being said, I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you guys want to see with the future of the MCU? Nothing here is officially really well cancelled all that much, but we can kind of presume that something is going to go on behind the scenes, behind the curtains, before it's actually ever officially unveiled and revealed to the public. And as I had also mentioned, Kevin Feige has his vision for Marvel. They're not going to mess with it all that much. And rather than cancelling things, if for anything, they're simply going to move things back. Let me know what you guys are all thinking in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. What do you want to see with the future of the MCU? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.